Hello, welcome to the video lesson using New Focus Approach Mathematics Basic 7, Revised Edition. And in this video, we are continuing the series of finding the measure of central tendency. Here, we want to focus on finding the median for ungrouped or raw data. This lesson can be found in page 366. So, we'll use few examples to demonstrate this. We want to find median. Median simply means the middle portion or this, the middle, if you arrange your data in order. The one that can be found in the middle becomes your median. And once again, we can use median mode and mean to find the central tendency. This time, I want to look at how we can use the word median, median. So how do we find median to this set of data? First of all, I will check the data. It is not arranged in order of magnitude. So what I have to do is that I have to arrange it. Now, the arrangement can be done in order of maybe ascending or descending. Either we arrange them ascending or descending. They'll give you the same answer no matter what you do. Right. So, arranging them in ascending as a half year, I can look at it by inspection. I have one, two, three, four. Okay. When I count from here, one, two, three, four, this becomes the middle part of it. So, the middle number, the 12, becomes my median. So, the median for this data, okay, the median is 12. As simple as that. Okay. So, let's take another example. The distribution shows the marks obtained by 12 learners in the class test score out of a maximum of 20. Find the median. Find the median. Once again, you can arrange this data in order of magnitude, whether descending or ascending. So I have done this in ascending once again. Remember, if you go by descending, you get the same answer. Good. So how do we get the middle? So let me do the inspection. One, two, three, four, five. Let me come from here. One, two, three, four, five. Then I can see that these two numbers are in the middle. Counting from left and then right, I see two numbers. If it's only one number, that number becomes my answer. But now that we have two numbers, according to the principle of median, you pick these two numbers and find the average. Okay, so what you do is that you just add 13 plus 12 and divide by 2. And 13 plus 12 will give you 27. We divide by 2. And that is going to give us 13.5. And so here, our median um, score is 13.5. Okay, so that is that. Now, let's take another example with ungrouped frequency. Ungrouped frequency. You want to find the median mark. And now, with this one, what you do is that you first have to look at the total frequency, total number of people in the class. Okay. The total number of people will give you the values here 7 plus 5 plus that plus that. Okay. So, 7 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 will give us 19. 19 plus this 21, 21 plus this will give us um, 23. So our total mark is 23. Now what you do is, if 23 happen to be your answer, and it is odd number like we see here, all we need to do is to add 1 to it and divide by 2 to give us the position. To give us the position. Okay, so there we can see the position. Be careful. So when I do this, I have 23 plus 1, which will be 24, divided by 2, will give me 12. So I'm going to have 12 positions. And 12 position is not the answer. It is the position where we can find our median. Now, because the answer gave me, or that's why I added 1. If I had gotten the answer to be even, like 22, I'd have just divide by 2, and that will give me the position as 11th position, right? And I search for it. Now, that I have my top position, how am I going to use it to get my modal mark? Sorry, the median mark. Starting from the frequency here, I'll keep adding the value. 
when I get to 12, I stop, then I track it to the mark. So if I add 7 plus 5, I'm going to have, um, that is 12, right? That is 12. 7 plus 5 is 12. I don't need to go further. Then I can just point the position to the number 7. So now my median mark is 7. Now, what it means also is that if I'm to write this max, okay, in a raw form, it's going to be like 6 will appear 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, plus 6, making 7. 7 will appear 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 8 will appear 1, 2, 3, 4. So it goes on and on and on. 9 will appear 3, 10 will appear 2. So if I'm to count from left and right, you realize that the middle number will fall on 7, one of the 7s. That is why our answer becomes 7 like this. And that's how we calculate it. Beautiful. Let's take another example and see. Okay. Here we have frequency shows the number of households and the corresponding number of children that they have. We want to find the median number of children. Okay. Now, again, this is my frequency. So I'm going to total the frequency. 10 plus 6, 16. Plus that will give me 21. Then plus this will give me 26, 28, 30. So my total mark is 30. And 30 is an even. So I just divide by 2. And that will give me my position. And that is going to be 15 position. So here, my median will be on the 15th position. So I'll do the starting numbering from here or adding from here. 2 plus 2 plus 5, 9. Plus 5 again will give me 14. I've not gotten there yet. 14 plus 5 uh, plus 6 is now 20. So it means that my 15th position is here. It's here. So if it is here, the median mark is going to be 4. So the median number of children is 4. I hope it makes sense. Good. So with this, we come to the end of this lesson. Thanks so much for watching.